May peace be unto you, my beloved. I am Reverend Charles Sergeant in Boateng, and I better at the second, the general overseer of Divine Expression Ministry. I am to share with you a message which is sub topic under or sub team under discipleship. So let's talk about disciplined disciples. Disciplined disciples. The key trait of disciples is that they must be disciplined. They cannot do what they want, how they want. Rather, they must do what their master wants. As disciples of Jesus, we must ensure that we are not led by the world, our feelings, or our desires. Our leader is one, that is Jesus Christ. That's why the twelve disciples followed Jesus wherever he went. Of course, there were several other people who walked around with Jesus. <clears throat> but they were not disciples in the strictest sense of the word. The twelve disciples, however, were subject to the direction and discipline of their master. One key sign of discipleship is that we submit to correction. That's why the scripture says, because the Lord dis disciplines the one he loves and he chastens everyone he accepts as his son. According to Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6, always relish the discipline of your master. That's a sign you are being discipled. What correction has God given you lately? How are you making changes? Disciples must be disciplined. So be a disciplined one. I am Reverend Charles Adelimboate. I just want to end you here. But when you want to study further, read Proverbs chapter 3, verse 11 to 12, and Proverbs chapter 12, verse 1, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27, Revelation chapter 3, verse 19, and Titus chapter 1, verse 7 to 9. I just want to say I love you. Take good care of yourself. Tomorrow we shall meet again. Shalom, peace, bye bye.